Yo, what's good, everybody? We got another beers with Barton. It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. They keep showing up. April 3rd, 2023. Hope everyone is having a wonderful start to their week. Um, I know I am, because I only have two more days of work, and then I'm headed to the beach, so I'm looking forward to some time off. But tonight is one of uh, the culmination of one of my favorite tournaments, March Madness. Tonight, the National Championship game. UConn Huskies versus San Diego State Aztecs, just like everyone drew it up, right? Um, I actually picked UConn in one of my brackets, um, the family bracket that I finally beat Jess and Michaela in for the first time in four years that we've been doing it. Um, but uh, obviously did not pick San Diego State. I don't know who would have except maybe a San Diego State alum. But uh, We'll see. Hopefully the game's good. Uh, UConn has just been destroying everyone in this tournament. I think they've won every game by double digits. Um, they beat Miami in the Final Four. I think at one point Miami got to within like six or eight um, in the second half. And then they ended up losing like, I don't know, 15 plus. San Diego State was actually down 13 with like six minutes to go and came back and won on a buzzer beater. 72-71. So they've got a good defense. Um, they're a good team. But... Uh, they, I think the year of COVID, 2020, where the, everything got canceled, I think they were 30 and two. So they were, I mean, they're, they're a good team. Maybe they were, I don't think they were undefeated, but anyways, they're better than people think. Obviously, I think I picked them to win maybe two games. I forget who the four seed was in that uh, bracket. But uh, anyways, uh, unfortunately, the game doesn't tip till 920 Eastern time, which I get, um, you know, for the West Coast. You got to kind of include them, but man, 920 and with all the festivities, so it's going to be midnight. Got to go to the office tomorrow, but I'm obviously going to stay up and watch it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I know my good buddy, Danny, who's a UConn alum, uh, will be up watching it. We've been texting all day, so looking forward to it. And he told me something I didn't know tonight. If UConn wins tonight, it'll be five national championships since they won their first in 1999, which 99 was a great year. It's the year I graduated high school. Fantastic year, by the way. So you think about it, they won in 99, I think 04. Then I want to say it wasn't 08, um, maybe maybe 11. So 99, 04, 2010 or 11, and then 2014 with Kemba Walker. Um, and then tonight would be in 24 years. And, you know, UConn's not considered one of those blue blood, blue blood colleges like Duke and Carolina and Kentucky and... Um, even UCLA from their history and all these other teams. But if they win tonight, that's five and 24 years. That's insane. You have UCLA that has 11 all time and all by Wooden back in the, uh, I think, 70s and, and maybe early 80s or 60s and 70s. And then you have Kentucky has eight. Then you have Carolina with six. You got Duke with five. I think Indiana has five. And then UConn has four and it goes down. So they would be one of the top. I mean, you got to consider them one of the blue bloods of the NCAA at this point. They get kind of forgotten about up in the East. The Big East has changed. You know, Syracuse and Pitt and Louisville and all those teams that used to be there, you know, join the ACC or other conferences. But, man, UConn is no joke. And they've, uh, you know, Jim Calhoun was a, was a master at his art. And then Kevin Ollie was there. And then now it's uh, Bobby Hurley's brother. I don't know his name. I don't like any of the Hurleys because – played at Duke but um they're playing good good basketball they've got a really good team they're super deep they shoot well um they don't turn the ball over typically I think they had 14 turnovers against Miami that's not typical of them and and they just shoot well and they're super deep um I think they're just way more talented than San Diego State that obviously hasn't mattered for most games in this tournament so we'll see I hope it's a good game but um I'm rooting for UConn and uh I think they get it done tonight so got an hour and 15 minutes till tip so Go watch a little pregame, maybe get a little Madden game in before. But uh, National Championship game, it's fantastic. I love March Madness. It's so much fun. And uh, tonight is the end of it. Um, and then we get to look forward to the World Cup. Women's World Cup is this year, which I love soccer. And I love women's soccer. And if you judge me, then fine. That's fine. Anyways, grabbed a couple tall boys. I grabbed a, a Sierra Nevada Hazy little thing. I had that with dinner. And uh, the New Belgium is great. Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. Fruit Punch IPA. We'll see. 9.5. See if it's a sippa. Easy drinker. Or a guzzler. Oh, yeah. It smells kind of like, uh, what's that Fruit Punch? High C or whatever? For sure. Oh, man. 9.5, man. Hello. 
this will be a good start. I'll probably have to uh, sip a little bourbon tonight to slow myself down. All right. Well, it's an Imperial IPA with natural flavor. So we'll see what that means. Like I said, it's a 9.5. It's the Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. 9.5. Hope it drinks like a 5.0 even because it'd be UConn's fifth national championship. Um, and we'll go from there. Looking forward to it. Cannot wait for tip. Wish it was at 8.30 instead of 9.20, but hey, this thing makes money, so who am I? Got a little bit, a little extra foam head, but that's all right. All right, cheers. Go UConn, fifth in 24 years. Man, spectacular. Sneaky, sneaky. Cheers. It's actually pretty tasty. But that is whew, a lot of the fruit punch flavors. Almost kind of got me in my nostrils a little bit. Um, a little sweet. That's a, that's a, an easy drinker at best. You could guzzle it if you want. You probably could sip on it. But whew, that uh, wasn't expecting that back in flavor. So don't know if I'd get this one again. It's not bad. It's just not what I'm looking for. All right. That's what we got. Go Yukon. I think the line's like opened up at seven and a half, maybe nine or nine and a half now. So. A lot of money going on UConn, which, man, the way they've been playing, it's hard not to. Cheers. National Championship game, March Madness. One of my favorite things. Go Huskies. Some of, if not the best uniforms, besides UNC, of course, and logo there is out there. Those Huskies are fantastic, the white ones. Love it, love it, love it. That's it. That's all we got. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time. A deuces.